Hey, this is Jason from JSM Computer Solutions. Today we're going to install XBMC Media Center. It's very similar to Windows Media Center, which uh, more people are probably familiar with, but it's got some uh, internet features and some customizations that are pretty neat. So we're going to go ahead and install that. I've already pulled up the web page. Um, it's xbmc.org, and we're going to go ahead and download here. And so we're going to click that. Uh, I'll just save it. So we're going to do a save as, and we'll just save it to a desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a minute because it's going to take about two minutes for that to download. All right, it's downloaded. Downloaded to my desktop. So here it is right here. We're going to double click on it. And we're going to basically take all the defaults. So next, agree, next, next, install. And that will take about a minute or two also to go ahead and put that all in there. And once that's done, we'll um, go ahead and continue on to the next section. Okay, so now that it's done installing, we're going to click the Run VMs XBMC and click Finish. And then it's going to go ahead and dump us into the actual XBMC. Um, what we're going to do... Um, I'm just going to give you a basic overview of everything that's in here. So you have, you know, you can set up your weather. You can look into uh, different things to do that. Uh, you to set your location and all that. Um, so basically, to go back from clicking on one of those icons, you're going to go press the back button. Um, you can add pictures. And basically here, what you're going to do is if you want to add a source, so you click your source here, and then you just browse to whatever source that you want it to go to, um, and then it will pull those pictures in, and um, it's pretty neat how it does that. Videos, same exact thing. Uh, click Add Video Add-on. Um, uh, files, actually, Add Videos and then browse to wherever your videos are and there's all sorts of different things. This is just your um, you know, default stuff but you can go you know, your C drive and click wherever videos you want. So we'll click cancel out of that, click cancel out of that and you always use this little back button and that will bring you back to the home page or you can click this home page here and it will bring you back. Um, so th same thing with music, um, programs, um, so basically you go to programs and you can go in and get more. And then here's all the things that you can do um, that are available as add-ons uh, for, um, for different programs just in general. It, it breaks it down into those sections. So th this is your program section and then um, you can go into, if you go back to like your music section, you can do music add-ons and get more. So you can add different music, um, and this is just specifically just music that you can add on here. So you can go through all these different things, um, they're inter you know, internet radio, um, you know, you can link into your, um, your iTunes account and uh, podcasts, all that type of thing there. So let's go back to the main page and you can go to videos, um, add-ons, get more. Then in here you actually have uh, different different stations that you can put in there. Uh, there's a couple of uh, kid stations that has things, um, you know, here's like Discovery Networks, so you you put that in there and all that you can watch your full episodes, you can watch your clips, as it says right here. I mean, basically you can watch Animal Planet, Planet live streams. Um, you know, here's your do-it-yourself network. And if you click on each one, it'll tell you what you can actually see on it. So play it full episodes. Um, I know there's some kids stuff in here they'll pull from like Nick Jr. Um, and if you just scroll down, uh, there's, I think, MLB TVs in here, if I remember right. Um, 
this one here you have to be a subscriber. There are some that you do have to be a subscriber for, uh, but you can pull it all through here. So it's just one location. Um, let's see, NBA video, NFL team, so you can get all the highlights and stuff from your favorite NFL team. Uh, Red Bulls TVs in here. So you just got to go through a bunch of them, kind of pick out uh, some different things that you enjoy. And so the same thing that goes for music. So if you get more, um, oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Pictures. That's what I meant to go. There we go. Finally. Um, let's see. Picture add-ons. Get more. And this is where you can pull in your Flickr account. Um, they have the Dilbert add-ons, uh, Garfield, you know, you can pull Google into it. Uh, there's not as many here, but here's your Picasa account that you can use. Um, what else? Uh, you can actually break into categories if you want to. Um, that's basically to manage your, your, um, your pictures. So that's the basic function of how it works. And you can go, uh, here's your system, which is where you can do the settings for the main portion of this. Um, so you can go into settings and, you know, you have your video settings. And you can change your video settings in here. Uh, so your display is 4.3. Uh, so you can zoom in. You can do normal. Uh, you can, let's see, you know, here's your subtitles. Here's your DVDs. So this is basically DVDs that you put in so you can play them automatically. Um, and you can all you know, set your stuff for your different libraries. Uh, you can obviously do import video library here too. Uh, let's see. You can do live TV on here too so you can configure that out. And let's see what else. Um, here's your add-on section. See, here's you know add-ons you can do it under the picture. It brought me back to the picture add-ons. Uh, let's see what else do we want to do here. Here's some services, so you can you can add in your 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 own web server. Um, here's where you can do your remote control. There's a there's a foot, there's a way to do it so you can download an app and do it on your um, your phone or tablet. Um, what else do we have? So you have your audio outputs, and here's where you can change all your um, audio capabilities. There's your video capabilities. So you can do your screen resolution if it's not coming out correctly. Uh, internet access if you have something uh, if your internet provider you know has to have your username and password you can put that in there here's your power saving and that is about it as far as just the basic overview of how this works uh, one of the cool things under videos is you can actually add your movies into your movie collection into it and then there's a program that you can actually download all your album art and and um, basically the covers and information about the movies and stuff like that um, but that's basically the overview uh, down here uh, just to finish up is basically here is your favorites so you can add favorites to this column right here and then the next cool thing is that you can actually go to your power button here and you can just exit the program. You can power off the system. You can do a custom shutdown timer when you know when you want it to shut down. Um, suspend, hibernate, reboot. Uh, so you can do the Windows actually your computer functions right here instead of closing this out and then doing those functions also. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at jmast at jsmcomputersolutions.com. Or you can uh, visit our website for more information. Um, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.